Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering the cell cycle, the mitotic index, and cancer from the old cells arise from other cells topic, and this is from the A-level biology curriculum. So let's begin. So first looking at the cell cycle itself. So not all cells can divide in multicellular organisms. For example, our red blood cells can't divide, our white blood cells can't divide. But the eukaryotic cells which can divide would show a cell cycle. So they basically show a pattern um, which we call a cell cycle. And what is cell cycle? So cell cycle is this interphase uh, plus mitosis. So some people get confused between cell cycle and mitosis and they think that mitosis is equal to cell cycle but no. Uh, cell cycle is both interphase and mitosis so and this is a combination of both. So interphase takes up most of the time uh, spent in cell cycle and then we have a small proportion um, being spent in mitosis. This is not the case with cancer cells but we'll come back to that later. So just remember that cell cycle is both the interphase at the start and then the mitosis after that. And there are basically five stages to cell cycle and there's a very easy way uh, to remember that. So you could remember uh, I peed myself at Tesco. So I for interphase, uh, P for prophase, uh, M for uh, my, M myself for metaphase, A at for anaphase, and Tesco T for telophase. So we'll um, go through interphase first. So interphase, in interphase, what happens is that cell uh, basically increases in size first, uh, increases in mass, it makes new organelles, and the DNA replication occurs. So uh, in interphase, the cell's basically getting ready to divide. So this is before the mitosis is occurring, uh, and the cell's doing everything that will make it able to divide later on. So this can be split, interphase can be split into three main stages. Um, and as you can see, this is the whole cell cycle. So uh, mitosis is only taking up just a slight amount of it. Uh, interphase is the rest of the area is taking up the most amount. So uh, interphase being split up into three parts. G1 uh, is the first phase So this. So this is basically well where the cell growth occurs, the cell size increases. Uh, in G2, uh, I mean, sorry, S phase, the, this is the next one after G, G1 phase. This is where uh, DNA replication occurs uh, by semi-conservative replication. And finally, we have the G2 phase, and this is where the new organelles would form, um, which the cell might need. So, for example, mitochondria and other organ organelles which the cell will need. So in this interphase stage, the chromosomes are invisible. So if I were to bring a micrograph up, um, micrographs commonly come up in exam questions, uh, what you can see in, in this micrograph is that the, the DNA is all muddled up. It's not arranged uh, into any kind of chromosomes. So this just means that chromosomes are invisible. So if, if a micrograph like this comes up, you know this is interphase. And in interphase, we basically result in duplicated DNA. So first we strand, uh, we start with this DNA. So this is just a single uh, unduplicated DNA. Um, and then we result in this duplicated DNA. So we will have a centromere in the middle attached, which attaches the two sister chromatids. So this is interphase. Next, just looking at mitosis overall. Uh, so why do we need mitosis? So mitosis is needed for growth. So for growth, what we mean is produced, produce more cells. So some people get confused with the concept of growth and they think that when cell division occurs, when we grow, the cell gets bigger. But rather than the cell getting bigger, it's just we are producing more cells um, and that's how we grow. So we, we're not making the cell bigger, but we rather just make, making more cells for growth. Um, and also mitosis is needed for repair. So there, there, there's always cells being damaged everywhere around our body. And to replace them, uh, we basically make new cells um, by mitosis. 
and also for asexual re reproduction, so producing clones um, of cells, which we also need around our body, so the exact same uh, cell. Um, and mitosis just produces two genetically identical daughter cells, um, as we know from GCSE, and these daughter cells have an identical copy of DNA, so this is key, they have an identical copy of DNA which is produced by the parent cell during a DNA replication. So if I were to say this is our parent cell um, and it has a specific DNA and then we produce two daughter cells, the daughter cells will also have that same DNA, so they will have the identical copy uh, of this DNA. So now looking at uh, the first stage of mitosis, which is the prophase. So in prophase, um, the chromosomes condense, so they become thicker, and this is what makes them visible. So in, the chromosomes were invisible in interphase, but now they are becoming visible. Um, so as you can see in this micrograph, we are starting to see uh, chromosomes. It's not just a muddled up uh, DNA. So we can now uh, more clearly see chromosomes. And the nuclear envelope breaks down. This is useful for later on, but for now you can't see any nuclear uh, envelope around um, the DNA. Um, in interphase we had that nuclear en envelope, but now it's broken down. So in prophase, the chromosomes would appear as two sister chromatids and they would be joined by the centromere or at the centromere. Um, so as you can see, this is our centromere and we have the two sister chromatids joined together by this centromere. And now moving on to metaphase, so the next stage of mitosis. So in this, uh, the centrioles would create nuclear spindles. And these spindle fibers or nuclear spindles are attached to the chromosomes uh, by their centromeres. So for example, so these are our centro centrioles. So these are at the poles of the cells and they have formed these nuclear spindles. And these spindle fibers are attached to the chromosomes. So we have these chromosomes here by their centromere. So uh, this just these uh, nuclear spindles would just attach to the centromeres and the chromosomes this just lines the chromosomes up at the equator so the middle of the cell so this is the equator and if we were to look at a micrograph this is this is something how it would look like so as you can see the chromosomes are lined up on the equator so now on to the anaphase. So in anaphase, the spindle fibers that we formed contract, so they shorten. And this pulls the this pulls the sister chromatids apart, and this would move them to the opposite poles of the cell. So this would bring the sister chromatids towards them. So for example, so this was our again, this is what our centrioles. So the um, the spindle fibers have contracted, so they have shortened. So this would pull, this would sorry, pull uh, the sister chromatid apart, and you can see they're forming this V shape. So at first they just look like this. So this was our chromosomes, uh, but now the, the sister chromatids have been pulled apart, and now they're just being pulled to the opposite poles of the cell because the centrioles were located on the opposite poles of the cell. And this would also split the centromeres into two. So we have, as you can see, a tiny bit of centromere there and a tiny bit of centromere there. So this has just split the centromere into two. Okay, so now again looking at the micrograph and for anaphase we can see that the sister chromatids are being pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. And now looking at telophase, so in telophase the chromosomes unwind and they become invisible. So looking at a picture, at a diagram of this, so the chromosomes now have unwinded and we can no longer see chromosomes as they were. So this is just muddled up DNA now. And the nuclear envelope again, it starts to reform. So we broke down the nuclear nuclear envelope in prophase but now it started to reform again 
and again if we were looking at the micrograph we can see and that the and the DNA is at the opposite poles of the cell now so this is telophase so cytokinesis so sometimes it's it's just joined together with telophase and some people don't really consider that as a an, an, another part of a mitosis but I'll just um, add it into a different slide but cytokinesis is basically division of cytoplasm so cyto for cytoplasm and kinesis for just splitting up so division of cytoplasm and this would end up producing the two new daughter cells uh, that, that we produce from mitosis so as you can see in this so it's completely split up so there's two different cells now two different membranes so they're not joined together anymore and each daughter cell would receive an identical copy of DNA produced by a parent cell um, which during replication we produced uh, and this is cytokinesis so again looking at a micrograph so now the nuclear and the membrane isn't joined together so there's two different membranes now so it's completely split up now. so that we have basically finished uh, our mitosis now so looking now at mitotic index so mitotic index is basically a measure of how many cells are in mitosis and it also gives us a hint or clue about uh, how fast mitosis is occurring and this can also help us indicate if uh, someone may have cancer uh, so mitotic index is basically the cells undergoing mitosis divided by the total number of cells we can see um, so for example if I said we have 56 cells uh, out of 126 undergoing mitosis so to find the mitotic index we would simply just do 56 divided by 126 which would get us 0 0.44 and this is our mitotic index sometimes you might not be told uh, how many cells und are undergoing mitosis it might just be a it might just be one stage of mitosis so for example anaphase and you can be asked to work out uh, the the index of basically just anaphase um, and you would just simply divide the number of cells undergoing anaphase divided by the total number of cells so time taken by mitosis can be found by doing mitotic index multiplied by the time taken for the whole cycle to occur and for example if we have uh, the cell cycle so uh, carrying on from the first, first example it's it takes 38 hours what we can just do is multiply the mitotic index which is 0 0.44 times by 38 and this would get us how, how long the mitosis is taking so in this example 16.9 hours so out of the 38 hours 16.9 hours are spent in mitosis and the rest are spent in uh, interphase so now cancer so when mitosis occurred uh, mitosis occurs it's a controlled cell division so the cells know when to stop it and when to continue it um, and it's continue it's, it's controlled basically uh, but if it's uncontrolled if a mutation occurs and the cell division becomes uncontrolled uncont this can lead to formation of tumors and cancers so most cancers are usually treated by controlling the rate of cell division and this can be done by for example if we have if you're giving drugs the drugs may stop uh, the spindle formation so uh, when spindles are formed normally as you can see here uh, the 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 chromosomes would align in the equator but if the spindles aren't formed the chromosomes wouldn't be aligned randomly they would not be aligned at all they would just be moving around ran randomly so if this happens then the matter then, then the metaphase and the anaphase uh, can't take place so cell division basically can't occur and we could also look at DNA synthesis or DNA replication so we could prevent that happening um and this just means that not enough there's not there won't be enough dna to divide not enough dna will be given to each cell um and this just basically prevents cell division from occurring
and finally cytokinesis can also occur so the cell may just even though everything's occurred now but for the final part the cell won't divide the cell will just stay together um, and it won't be able to undergo any further division so and common exam question is why cancer treatments target cancer cells more than for example healthy cells and this is simply because the cancer cells are found mostly in mitosis so because the cell division is occurring all the time and so you all these processes for example preventing sp spindle formation dna synthesis cytokinesis would just prevent this cell division from occurring and because uh, you, the healthy cells are um, they will mostly be an interface so they will be less affected by the cancer treatments Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more of these and you can watch my recent videos by clicking on the links popping up. Thank you.